Kong Ho North Korea's elite main battle tank. It's a strange mix of Soviet T-72 and Chinese Type 85 with local technologies and modifications. The Pok Pung Ho is now operated by the 105th Seoul Rikyong Su Guards Division, the elite armored division of the North Korean Army today. North Korea's most renowned capabilities include its weapons of mass destruction, ballistic missiles, special forces, submarine fleet and extensive network of hardened tunnels, the country's military does not neglect its conventional military capabilities. During the early stages of the Korean war tanks were a significant and well-used asset which helped the Korean People's Army of 70,000 to engage and repeatedly defeat a South Korean and American force of 94,000, a situation which was only ended by the introduction of further U.S. forces, the 1st Marine Division, in a flanking maneuver at Inc. Until then however an effective use of armor had brought North Korea's military several victories against a far larger force. Today North Korea continues to invest in armored warfare capabilities alongside its extensive asymmetric warfare capabilities. Just after 1990 and the dissolution of the Soviet Union, immense stockpile of non-modernized T-72s were to be scrapped and were sometimes resold. North Korea apparently benefited such a deal, and procured itself D-72s that were reverse engineered. It is generally accepted that the first version of the Pok Pung Ho, was studied in 1992 by the Second Machine Industry Bureau and produced by the Ryu Kyong Su Tank Factory. It was only publicly observed at the, the Spring 2010 Parade but was first observed by experts in 2002. The Pok Pung Ho uses advanced composite armor, a powerful engine of 1,100 to 1,500 horsepower, up to two manpad anti-aircraft launchers, two anti-armor ATGM launchers and twin grenade launchers. The tank is also armed with a heavy KPV anti-aircraft machine gun, a coaxial machine gun and four smoke grenade launchers. Its primary armament is an advanced 125mm smoothbore gun, the same gun as that of the Soviet T-80 and T-90 battle tanks. Along with its heavy armaments the tank also boasts limited night fighting capabilities including infrared sensors, a laser rangefinder and a searchlight. Later models of the Pok Pung Ho have also boasted additional reactive armor. The onboard electronic systems are probably the most advanced, with a computerized fire control system given the presence of sensors and meteorological mast, ensuring a high first hit capability and good accuracy on long range and poor visibility. <laughs>